I'll give you a little bit of history about why we started to or we why we built Scalix. So Scalix, uh, so Let's Venture has been in this business for the last nine years, connecting founders with investors in the hope to help them raise capital. Uh, what we've what we've understood that in these last nine years is that founders need a lot more than just capital. Uh, they need access to a community of people that they, they can kind of help uh, each other uh, get access to uh, learning, knowledge, articles, uh, service providers. Uh, you know, legal, hiring, um, uh, HR, you, ha you name it, right? Uh, and that nobody is really solving. Uh, in fact, what's happening is every founder is reinventing the wheel. Uh, every founder who's starting up finds, goes on, goes and finds their own, uh, own kind of who's going to incubate for me, the, finds their own banker, finds their own, uh, own um, insurance provider when you're hiring your first employee. If you get your GST um, um, uh, compliances are not uh, up to date, you get an inquiry, you find your own legal expert and those are the challenges that everybody's reinventing the wheel. And our hope here is to democratize this, where you don't really need to reinvent the wheel with these operational aspects which are inefficient in helping you as a founder raise or build business value. And that's why Scalix is built. So So Scalix is essentially built on three pillars. The first pillar is the community pillar. It's an exclusive founders club or a community where founders can help each other at the right time for the right content or for the right needs, right? Second pillar is the service provider pillar. So like I just said, you have access to so many services that you need as a founder. At last count, any founder or any startup, even only in the first, I think 350 days, which is first year of business, needs access to more than 130 services. Right, And every time you're just, you know, imagine one service every three days you need access to almost. And you're always kind of find, uh, hustling for finding the right person and you'll more often than not, not like that person or the service provider for that specific service because that person may or may not be trusted by you or vetted by anyone. So that's your second pillar. The third pillar is access to industry best practices, content and templates. Just a simple question if I ask today any founder and we've done this research with, uh, with about uh, 300 odd founders that um, who's your, um, uh, when did you, how did you write your MSA? Everybody has either gone back to some legal uh, 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 person or has kind of picked up a template from the internet and tried to um, uh, retrofit it for their business. That's not the right way to do it because then you are always getting stuck into some sort of legal mess which, will, you, which you will get, uh, which you will have trouble with. So business templates which are either behind a paywall today um, or they are just not available we are trying to build out as a third pillar, which also there's a layer on top of it, which is called a LMS layer or learning management layer, where founders need access to content or learning resources, either for specific sectors or verticals, or for specific business operations, like product operations, marketing, etc. Anything they need access to in terms of content, we are building that content out for every founder, for every sector, for every vertical, which means you need a specific content or how do you, how do, you do GTM for a D2C, in the first three years of, or the first one year of, uh, of, of business, we have that content for you. Read, consume, learn, and then execute. That's the whole kind of value proposition of Scalix. Yeah, so in a nutshell, we, 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 Scalix helps founders get access to four things. Customers, convenience, capital, and community. That's the summary of what Scalix does. Specifically, kind of talking about student entrepreneurs and even early entrepreneurs, Scalix is the platform where, uh, uh, for, for more seasoned entrepreneurs, there is, uh, there is a value where they can contribute back to the community. But for, uh, but for, uh, for early entrepreneurs, college entrepreneurs, there's a lot of value out there because you are extremely disconnected from the ecosystem and the network that you build takes a lot of time, effort, energy, and you will not time use that focus or you'll kind of not do that a value building exercise during that time. So it's best that you come onto Scalix and get access to this in the community in one shot, in one go. Uh, and of course, access to the services and, and, and industry best practices, which helps you build your startup better, stronger, faster. <music>